Good afternoon and welcome back to Hermione's Toy Box, toy fans. Uh, I've got something for my fellow Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle fans here. These are the uh, relatively new uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 1988 Remastered Turtles. We've got the whole set here. I stumbled upon them at Walmart and they are really good value. Um, not very much per figure, about thir $13 uh, per figure. Um, they are hitting in large shippers, so if you're not finding them yet, be patient. Don't feed the scalpers. They are coming. They are going to be out there, and they are going to be readily available. Uh, we've got the four turtles so far. They, at SDCC this summer, teased the Shredder and Rocksteady, which almost guarantees Bebop. I would imagine we're going to hit the... Uh, Original Vintage Gang, probably April, and Splinter can't be too far behind. Personally, I'd love to see someone like Fugitoid, one of my favorite characters from anything ever. Uh, but at least these are great. These are in scale with the Vintage characters, so if you are taking up uh, the uh, re-releases, uh, they will scale in with them. These just have more articulation and deco. Uh, the texture, which I know has been a point of contention, I'm not super thrilled with it, but seeing them in hand, it doesn't bother me the way I thought it would. Um, but we're going to crack these guys open and take a look. Um, I'm going to start, of course, with my favorite, Michelangelo, uh, the vintage figure. Mom brought it home for me one day. I had never heard of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles at all at that point. I honestly thought that it sounded like something from a horror franchise and uh, being a little bit of a chicken I wasn't going for it. Um, but man when I opened him up he was one of my favorite toys of all time ever. I've always loved Mikey. He's my favorite turtle. Um, but I love them all. Uh, my favorite comic book series has been IDW's uh, run of it which is starting over this summer. We just got issue one out. Uh, I don't think issue two is hit yet, but I have not gone to my favorite comic shop, Space Cadets Collection Collections, in a while to pick up my polls, so we'll see. Um, I've actually been rereading the whole series, so if you haven't checked that comic out, do yourself a favor. Um, we're going to crack these open. Uh, guess I'm flying solo right now because I'm the only one at home, and that's okay. I just needed a new toy. I had some meetings at work today, good meetings. School is getting ready to start again, but this teacher is going to have his last little toy fest for the summer here unless possibly I might I've got a couple of things to open and I was kind of waiting for cousin Freddy for those but we'll see um and hopefully Hermione joins us too uh all right here we go we're gonna take a look at these I'm gonna crack them open all right so we have Mikey out of the package now he does come with some uh, several accessories so I'm gonna look at those real quick before we get into his articulation and I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on the other turtles articulation because they're all essentially the same figure just slightly different heads um, so every one of them is coming with a base and I'm actually really impressed with the sharpness of the the paint apps and uh, I suppose that's probably a tampo but some of this is definitely just painted on there. Um, but each one of these, I think, is more or less the same. We'll, we'll take a look as we continue. But they're kind of customizable. Mikey come, each of them come with a couple different little apparatus that you can customize. Mikey's got these little antennae. Uh, you can just kind of pop them wherever. I suppose you could also put them in just giant close-up of my hand there. Um, in here as well. Lots of different choices, all right, for these things. Um, and he also had this, right? And this I kind of thought would pop on. I kind of thought it was meant to peg in here. It can, but it's not tight. It's it's just, you can set it wherever you want. So you can customize the heck out of those, mix and match as you please. Uh, they do look like they'll kind of tab into each other, but they don't exactly snap in uh, with those tabs. But we'll see how that looks as we go. Um, Mikey has a few different accessories. Of course, you've got the classic um, ninja stars, all right? He's got a a couple of little ninja stars. Those look to be, I would say, probably the same size. Uh, I, you know, part of me wants to say they're smaller, but my hand is also much bigger than it was when I was seven and these first came out. Um, how many of you managed to never lose a ninja star? Anybody? Probably not many of us. Um, so there's that. Uh, ninja stars. Then, of course, these little hand daggers. I am sure they have better names, but he comes with these as well. Uh, you got the classic one. I was... We'll see how, well, I've got notes for Raph. We'll see. Uh, these jobbies are really cool. I like that they painted them. These are not just the kind of weird brown mahogany color that they used to be back in the day. Uh, so we'll see how about those. And then he's got, so they all come with their signature weapons, which we'll get to. Mikey's are fantastic. 
but each turtle comes with kind of an extra new weapon. Uh, Mikey's may be my favorite out of the bunch. Uh, I feel like Leo's is kind of weird, and I think Raps is a little strange. Donnie's kind of at least makes sense, but I don't think he would use it. They all seem a little more violent than their actual signature weapons. Uh, I suppose Mikey's is kind of cool, but it is stuck in this very static pose. Um, I don't know that I'll use these at all. You know, I really don't know what I'll do with those, but probably not a whole lot. Um, but he comes with his nunchucks. Now, nunchucks here, vast improvement, um, and we're seeing this more and more, but they are real chains on the nunchucks, and I'm digging it, all right? Um, so we'll, we'll, uh, we'll take a look at those a little bit. We'll set them up a little but let's take a look at the articulation real quick. So he does have, looks like a ball joint head, not a ton of range on it, but enough, okay? Enough range. This is a very vintage style head. I love this era of the turtles when they were just starting to really hit big. Um, he's got these ball joints in the shoulders, so lots more, lots more room there, and lots more expression. Just swivels at the wrist, okay? Which I'm not against. I would like a little more hinged motion there but I don't mind it. You do have a hinge and swivel here in the elbow for a lot more. So the arms, I'm pretty happy with the articulation, okay? The belt does not appear to come off, all right? It looks like it's there. You can, of course, store his weapons as usual, as you should. The feet are gonna have a lot more posability and range. Uh, sorry, not the feet, the legs, all right? I mean, you can get these guys. These guys will actually be able to sit in your vintage turtle wagon, party wagon, uh, which I actually have one coming. So I like that. I like that a lot. What I don't really love is just the swivel at the foot. You know, I mean, the foot has always been a problem for the turtles. Foot clan, come waka waka waka! Um, but I, I would have liked a little more of a hinge here, I think. Um, but this looks and feels a lot like my vintage. Of course, mine had the squishy head, not like the repro that's a little older. Uh, newer rather, not as old. But yeah, there you go. I mean, like, it looks like a great update, you know? If these are gonna be Playmates version of Origins for Turtles, I'm happy with it. And I could see myself getting myself in a lot of trouble with these, um, because I do like them. The shells are more updated, the textures of the skin. Again, I don't hate it the way I kind of thought I would. Um, whoa. And uh, this one's actually kind of feeling a little rubbery now. Uh, as plastic ages, even these repros. Uh, you know, the M is a little more stylized, but you can actually see the whole thing. I, 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 I like them. I like this Mikey a lot. Uh, I have a hard time anytime new Ninja Turtles come out not buying them. Um, Mikey is a coming soon for our Turtles of Grayskull. We will be opening him soon. But again, I wanted to uh, get the kids involved because the kids are really enjoying that. The kids are enjoying a lot of these. I just can't wait for them sometimes. Um, you know, like one of my favorite Mikeys, and I love the 2002 Nickelodeon era. The skin color is always a little bit different. I always thought it was interesting in one of these, but lo love this set of turtles too. These are also getting reproduced by Playmates uh, as well as their, their own battle shell wagon. Uh, I don't think it was called the battle shell. What do they call it in that show? Let me know in the comments. Um, so I have a hard time not getting new versions of the Turtles. I had the movie versions. I did sell those a while back because I didn't really want to go down that entire rabbit hole. One of my favorites has been, we're going to go way over here and we're going to go right into the, I love these. Now I didn't get the newer versions of the NECA Mirage, um, but I love that this has started to grow some with all these other characters. Are any of you collecting those? Uh, let me know in the comments. Um, there's another turtle right here too. This is usually where those guys stand. Um, but anyway, yeah, there's, there's a look at the other cabinet, just for funsies. Um, there's some real turtle gems up there, though. Whoa. Those, Cousin Freddy's dad made those for Hermione for her second birthday, because she couldn't decide, do I want Ninja Turtles? Do I want My Little Pony? I want a My Little Ninja Pony birthday, and that's what she had. Um, so anyway, back to, back to these. Um, I like them. I like them quite a bit. They're affordable, they're fun, the articulation works. I'm gonna get this guy kitted out. I'm gonna take a look at the other ones and then we'll continue the frivolity and fun with this video. 
All right, so I've opened them all up. And again, because I went over Mikey's articulation, I'm really not gonna spend too much time uh, wasting your time looking at everyone else's. It's essentially the exact same figure, just different portraits, different weapons, and some different accessories, uh, different accessories for the bases, uh, which again, you get two for each one. One will plug in like the antenna. Uh, Leo has an antenna back behind him. Uh, Don had this little uh, hood thing. I, I, I'm sure there's a name for that. I have one on my house. Don't know what it's called. Um, and and Raph has this little ladder that can plug in. I suppose you could probably switch it the other way so it's going over the back too. Um, either way. Um, and then they each have one that's kind of a freestanding. You know, Raph has this chimney looking deal. Um, the paint apps and everything on these are really nice and crisp all across the board. I did spend quite a bit of time when I was at Walmart uh, taking a look at the the teeth, you know, I can't tell you how many rafts I did not get because he had a real, like, serious buck tooth problem uh, in some of them, and some of them just looked a little wonky. Um, Leo, there was only one Leo, and there were two Mikeys left in the shelf, and uh, there were a number of rafts and a number of Dons, um, if I'm not mistaken. Who knows what's left there anyway? Again, don't stress out. Don't pay a scalper, all right? Uh, we'll talk about Raph in a second here because he does something very important. I did want to say before I join his base over here, uh, and again, these can go lots of different ways because they do. You can put them, whoa, you can knock the phone around. You can snap them in this way and snap them. I'm going to add his to the side. There are a lot of options. You know, you can kind of have fun with it. Snap it any which way, but they do kind of, I'll just throw that anyway. Do kind of snap together, okay? It's a nice, easy snap, but they do a nice job there, and I thought that was great. Raph, before I add him in here, let's call attention, okay? Obviously, he can grip them around the handles. My testament, my, my trick, my, my, my litmus test for a good Raph figure is he needs to be able to grip his size like this, all right? NECA did a great job with these. Um, the vintage figure, not so much, but again, his size were a little inaccurate to size, and they couldn't uh, grip them because there were like bladed weapons and a size and generally like that. Um, 2002 version did an excellent job with that, okay? Um, and we can we can do a little bit of comparison and stuff like that. But uh, look at them, there they are, okay? Uh, the whole gang looking great. I'm excited about these. Um, I did wanna say, let's spend a little bit of time um, throwing Raph around, cause you know, he's always gotta get beaten up the most. Um, I did wanna take a look really quick because we called attention to Mikey's different accessory and let's go in the order I open them and also my order of favorite turtle down the line from most to Raph. Um, Leo's extra weapon is like double bladey, really, really aggressive looking weapon. Uh, it does have some neat, you know, battle damage kind of sculpted into it. Um, this seems like this is, this is a very interesting weapon. I don't love it. I'm glad they threw it in. Why not? Um, personally, I would have maybe said canister of ooze or a baby turtle. I always like when they throw in a baby turtle, like an unmutated, regular old turtle. Um, that's fun. Um, so th there's there's Leo's, okay. Um, Donnie has essentially a play on the bow staff, which they usually do. This reminded me kind of of the, uh, Sorry, I kept calling these guys 2002. I love the 2002. These are 2012, because that's the year Hermione was born, and she loves that show. Um, or loved that show. You know, she's 12 now. Who knows what she likes? It'll change with the whims. Anyway, the 2002 version of Donnie did have some apparatus to add to his uh, bow staff. This, this, I, I, kinda, I don't hate this one. I, I think it's kind of neat. Uh, again, I probably won't use them much, if at all. Um, and then Raph has kind of an odd one. Now, I do think this is also a little bit bent. Uh, but he's got this weird, to me, this doesn't even seem like his weapon. At least Leo's is a bladed weapon. You know, Mikey's is like Nunchuck's, Donnie's is like his. This is just like this weird hammer thing for Raph. Uh, I could see like Ram Man from Masters using something like this. Um, it is, it, again, it does have a nice sculpt on it. You know, it's got some dings on the hammer. Like it's maybe been used, but probably not in my toy shelf. Um... So here they all are, okay? Um, they're pretty good, they're poseable. I mean, considering I don't love the, the joint on the ankle, um, it does, uh, you can get some good poses. I mean, I tried to get some like 
at least with Leo, kind of a dynamic pose, you know, running with the swords, how you have to teach your kids to run with sticks, because I swear Hermione and, and, and Cousin Freddy nearly put their eyes out so many times, uh, and Leo running around with the swords like this in 2012 series really helped learn them up not to get their eyes poked, because my cousin and I would often get our eyes poked on uh, accident. Uh, one other note, and I, I think it is important to note, this portrait belongs on this guy and vice versa. All right, as I was saying, uh, yeah, they on, on the new versions here, they, they've switched up uh, Leo's portrait and Donnie's portrait uh, when comparing them to the vintage style. Again, these are reproductions, but they're the reproductions of those first turtles, and you, you still gotta have, you know, all the love for these original versions. But yeah, they, they did switch these up. Now again, you can kind of see they're roughly, you know, they're they're the same scale, definitely, you know? So if you've got yourself the newly re-released Technodrome, or you've got yourself uh, the re-released Party Wagon, or any of that stuff, it'll play well, you know, that the pizza thrower is hitting targets again um, right now. Uh, they, they should play very well with all of that stuff. Any of your old vintage stuff, uh, we have the blimp out in the, the garage uh, hanging up. Um, but here you can kind of see... The original gang with uh, with their new counterparts from the remastered line. All right, and just for funsies, here's here's uh, some more. I'm trying to get everybody in here. Now we're gonna have to pull back a little bit. That's okay um, because Don's staff is sticking out there. But yeah, you know, so like there's there's certain great things about these. Um, you can kind of see the whole gang like that. Um, these all generally scale pretty well together, you know, so if you have any of this, you can kind of play along. And, hey, let's just throw lights around too. Uh, one thing I did want to bring in, just because I know a lot of people are collecting, the people that are interested in these, a lot of them are also collecting Masters of the Universe Origins, at least in my circles, so what I wanted to do was kind of bring in some of those. I know I showed Mikey, we still have him carded, because I still need to get the kids together because I don't want to do that without them. But again, while these uh, compared to an Origins figure are probably closer to the actual scale, and again, cartoon collection being a little bit taller than your standard, uh, but we're just going to pull Prince Adam in here just because he's about the same, you know, he's, he's readily available. Uh, cartoon collections being a little bit taller, um, you know, the turtles scale pretty well. I guess I, I, guess I really kind of want a regular origins figure let's just pull uh we'll, we'll pull skeletor over here okay from the stranger things set um kind of cool that masters and turtles have both crossed over with stranger things you know the turtles generally uh, original stuff you know not like those not very wonderful movies um they're supposed to be fairly small right and again these are kind of hunched down so let's get raf here i'm just picking on him because he's on the end here this is about the scale they really should be when compared. I mean, maybe they're a little short, right? Maybe a little bit. But, you know, I always like when the turtles actually look like teenagers, too. That's one thing I think the, uh, the 2012 series did nice. Uh, IDW has often done a good job of showing them. Scaling like teenagers. Um, you know, they're, they're not supposed to be gigantic. I, I'm never a big fan of when they're just massive gargantuan creatures uh so they'll play well alongside uh your origin stuff but when you take a look at you know raf here versus his turtles of gray skull i mean they're you know they're massive they don't seem too huge compared to of course an origin size figure you know they're okay there um because they're on the same buck system and again cartoon collection being a little bit taller but just to show the scales here and, and all that uh so we can bring those other ones in here just to show them off a bit um you know so if, if you want to cross pollinate you know these are sorry adam these are definitely going to be out of scale with your turtles of gray skull but if you want to have turtles with your uh masters that are just basic because i know a lot of people especially with you know don here has a helmet stuck on his head and you know it's not quite no matter what you know because of the weird shell situation on their backs for what they are in masters great love the turtles of gray skull line think it's fantastic L glad to see it continuing with the reptile war stuff but my issue is 
you know, you're not going to get just a basic turtle out of it. You know, they're always going to have the furry leg stuff, you know, from the boots and, and all that. And I think that's fine. I think it's, it's perfectly fine. Uh, there's probably rights issues as far as how they can present the turtles. So that said, if you just want a nice little crossover with just the turtles crossing over, because who knows when they get to human characters, like when they get to this shredder in the remastered line, he's probably not going to scale very well with your uh origins anymore right um hard to say i guess time will tell but i think you know they're they're fun they're worth the money uh i think they, they're a good value they come with plenty stuff i probably won't even use some of it and you can kind of rearrange the bases um and again i know i'm hearkening back to masters a lot because that's, that's kind of the bread and butter of my collecting for the most part but I do love the turtles, and I am willing to uh, go down this rabbit hole a little ways, as long as they're not going too, too far. I, I, I can't afford to go deep, like the entire, you know, vintage turtles line remastered, because uh, I'm already pretty committed to Origins and all that. Um, but let me know in the comments what you think. Uh, will, will it get your uh, opinions, share some ideas, talk to me? Uh, go ahead and click a like if you haven't, and, and subscribe for the love of pizza. Uh, but hey, have a great day, a good journey to you, and uh, cowabunga. <laughs>